Hi folks, welcome to Coffee with Job. On Thursday morning, I uh, just had my breakfast, late breakfast, and I always read the newspaper. I have a pen that highlights stuff that I want to comment on. But nothing, absolutely nothing, compares with having this. Uh, and if I was going to highlight anything in the Bible, it would be these verses. Job 19, we saw verse 25 yesterday. I know that my Redeemer lives, and in the end he will stand on the earth. And then these words today, And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes, I and not another, how my heart yearns within me. I will see. I have glasses to help me see. I didn't always have glasses. I went into uh, opticians in Edinburgh when I was at university there and said, uh, I need a test because uh, I need you to sign something that says my eyesight's fine for a driving license. And he said, how is your eyesight? I said, oh, it's great, 2020, no problem. Covers over my left eye and says, what can you read there? I could go all the way to the bottom, A-E-U-W or something. Covers over my right eye. What line can you read on the board there? And I went, what board? I said, I hadn't realized. He, he put lens in, is in, and I looked around and the room was sharper and clearer and brighter. I hadn't realized I couldn't see. And so many of us are like this. We think we're seeing, but we see but through a glass darkly. And we need God to bring us light. And here's one of these passages that enables us to see by faith that we will see um, just extraordinarily. So he says, I will see him in my flesh. Now, I don't think that means while I'm still alive. He said, after my skin has been destroyed. I think it's after my flesh. And I think it's talking about the resurrection body. And scripture's full of this. Rev uh, Philippians 3.21 who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so they'll be like his glorious body. 1 Corinthians 15, 44, it is so in a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. Revelation 22, verse 3 and 4, no longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city and his servants will serve him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. They will see his face. They will see his face. Job then says, my, the NIV translate, my heart is, how my heart yearns within me. That's because we use the word, the term heart to talk about how uh, our emotions, but it's actually my kidneys, my kidneys, because the, the Hebrews saw that as the center of the emotions just how I'm stirred up inside, how I'm moved by this great thing, how I'm overwhelmed and exhausted even by this prospect, just comes this incredible hope. We need to remember that life on earth is but a, at best, a preparation for a richer, fuller life to come. Paul says to the Philippians, I desire to depart. And he uses the word that's used for the last rope to be cut before the ship sails. You know that scene in Lord of the Rings at the end. I know that some of you watching this are facing death. We're all facing death, just some of you know it more than we do and you've been told that you don't have that long to live. For the Christian, that's not a gateway into the ultimate darkness, although sometimes it does feel like that, doesn't it? but it's rather a means of meeting with Christ. We have been bought with the precious blood of Christ and he's freed us from the, the power of death and the sting of death. And I love what John says, dear children, now we are children of God and what we will be has not yet been made known, but we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. We shall see him as he is. Isn't that just such a brilliant idea? I mean, there are people I long to see, but I mean, we're here in Australia and I long to see my family back in Scotland. I can see them on Zoom and all the rest of it, but I, I just long to see them as they are. But to see Christ as he is, is just, 
such a wonderful, wonderful, joyous prospect. You know the, the hymn Amazing Grace? Well, I'm going to leave you with my favorite version of it. It's from the film uh, Wilberforce. And of course, it's the pipes. And as soon as the pipes start, I just... Whoa. Um, but the song, I was blind, but now I see. You see, some people go, ah, oh, it's all very well you talking about this, but this, this doesn't affect the real news. This is just all pie in the sky when you die. No, it's not. Here's the point. Because Wilberforce could see and knew he was going to see Jesus, when you can see that, it makes you a better person on earth and more useful on earth. So uh, watch this and I will see you, uh, God willing. I won't see you, will I? But I, I will see Christ and I, we will meet again, I hope, this way tomorrow morning to continue looking at Coffee with Joe. But by the way, please feel free to pass this on to other people. God bless you. What a great hope we have.